Elizabeth Edwards was best known as the wife of a famous politician. Thank you so much. But she was also a lawyer with an impressive resume and a devoted mother. In the final years of her life, she became most identified with her private battles, first her health and later her troubled marriage to John Edwards. He was running mate to John Kerry in the 2004 presidential election. The day they conceded defeat, Elizabeth was diagnosed with breast cancer. After chemotherapy, surgery and radiation, she thought the worst was over. I seem to be cancer free, knock on wood. Yet soon after her husband launched his campaign for the 2008 presidential race, doctors told her the cancer had returned and could not be cured. In spite of the news, she joined her husband in the decision to proceed with the campaign. It's important that the American people have the opportunity to have a president like him, and I, I, I can't deprive him of that. She worked as a trusted campaign advisor, actively participated in public events, and didn't hesitate to speak her mind about political rivals, criticizing Hillary Clinton's record on women's issues and calling Barack Obama holier than thou. My value is that people trust me. They trust me to say what's on my mind and to be direct. Her illness was another blow to a family that had already seen tragedy. In 1996, the Edwards lost their oldest child, Wade, killed in a car accident when he was just 16. They also had a daughter, Catherine. And a few years after Wade's death, they decided to expand their family. After extensive fertility treatments, Elizabeth was 48 when she gave birth to Emma Claire, 50 when Jack was born. Uh, I made a very serious mistake. In 2008, as Elizabeth battled cancer, her husband admitted publicly what he already confessed in private, that he'd had an extramarital affair which produced a baby daughter. He denied paternity for more than a year before finally confessing the baby was his. Within days, Elizabeth confirmed she was ending the marriage, choosing to put that painful chapter behind her as she faced her final months. Sandra Hughes, CBS News.